everybody, it's the ultimate coupon lady. I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to make a, a video. I don't even know if I'm going to post it, but I was outside of CVS and, you know, no, no, I was inside CVS, I'm sorry. And just, you know, walking around, I went in to get some smart water because I hadn't been feeling well. And this really doesn't have anything to do with couponing, so... You might want to just go on to the next video if you're looking for something, you know, as far as couponing. But I just wanted to, I don't know, get your, well, just get your thoughts, I guess. Um, I was in CVS, wandering around, trying to see what, what clearance there was, or if there was some deals, or, you know, just hanging out and scanning the red box and whatever. Um, and this girl came in the door, this little itty bitty girl, and she was a well, woman, and she was pregnant, and it sounded like she was laughing. And I was like, oh, they're, you know, young kids having fun. And turns out, she was actually crying. You know what I mean? Boo-hooing, crying, because I thought it was laughter. And I'm like... Am I hearing this right? Is that girl crying? I mean, she was like, almost like ugly crying. So she's still standing at the door. And I'm like, why is it, uh, is no one helping her? And then I, you know, I stood there looking at her. Because I was like, yeah, I can't, trying to see far for one thing. And see if she really actually is crying. And then I could see that she was pregnant about, looks like she was about eight months pregnant. I'm like, oh, this poor thing, she is crying. And then, you know, I guess she saw me staring at her. And she came walking toward me. And I was like, do you need some help? And she was crying. She was like, oh, um, can I use your phone? My boyfriend just hit me in the face. I mean, t mascara run and everything. My boyfriend just, boyfriend just hit me in the face. Um, and threw my keys, my car keys, in the sewer. And in one of those little grates, I guess. I'm like, I was like, do you want me to call the police? You know, do you, you know, and she didn't want, didn't want to call the police. Um, she wanted to use the phone and I was like, well, you know, she, she was trying to see who she could call. And I guess she thought I worked at the store because I had, you know, my, my work stuff on. She thought I worked at CVS. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sweating because let me let this window down. I'm sure you guys can still hear me. It's just that other people are like, I don't want them looking at me <laughs> crazy because I'm recording. Anyway, so my question is when she said my boyfriend hit me in the face and then she said she didn't want to call the police, I'm like, okay, do I even want to get involved with this? I mean, it's domestic, it's. It's a touchy situation. So I was like, oh my gosh. You know, they could be fighting one minute and then they'll be hugged up later this evening. And I got involved. I'm sorry. Let me wipe this off. I got involved, you know, for nothing. And, you know, I don't want to say it's not for anything. But, I mean, if that's something that they always go through, I don't even want to get involved. But she's eight months pregnant. How am I supposed to walk away? So, I, um, you know, I just kind of helped her with what she wanted to do. You know, I can't force her to call the cops. I didn't see him do it, so I can't call the cops. So, she was just trying to get her um, keys out of the sewer, and she asked the, what's the guy? The cashier, which was actually the manager, so... <sighs> We walked over there, and I was like, you know what? We need to help her. Like, what can we do? And so there's a, another service guy in there, and so he went to help her. I, I, it was a, a locksmith guy, I think. Let me see. Somebody was getting in their car. So he went to help her um, to see if he could get her keys out. So my question is, I mean... Something like that is so flipping touchy. What do you do? Do you get involved? Do you ignore it? I mean, she obviously needed help. I asked her, I said, do you want to call your family 
you don't want to call the police, do you want to call a relative or something or a friend, somebody to, you know, help you out or, or and she was like, oh, I don't know anybody around here. I don't live around here. And I was like, oh, my gosh. What stress is that doing to the baby? Um, so, long story longer. <laughs> the guy, so we walked outside with her. The locksmith went with her to help her get her keys. And then, you know, I went to the van to do some of my work. And so when she came out, she was like, oh, I called the police. And Or when she came back over, she was like, I called the police. They're on their way. And um, what else did she say? You know, I told her, you guys, you know, you can't be doing that. You know, you got to think about your baby. I said, no matter what happened, you need to think about your baby. And she was like, yeah, I can't be with somebody that's going to put his hands on me and blah, blah, blah. And then there's another lady that was outside the store. And she was like, well, I didn't have a phone. I couldn't help her. And she was saying, you know, it's her side of the story, his side of the story, and then there's the truth. Which, so anyway, I'm still sitting out here making my phone calls. Actually making my coupon video. <laughs> trying to get my coupons together to make that other video I made with the, um, what are those things called? With the red box coupons. Anyway. So, this guy shows up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, is that him? Because, you know, he looked like he, you know, he fit the description, and he was standing outside. He didn't go in the store. She, this was when she was in the store. He didn't go in the store, so I was like, that's got to be him, because he's not going in for some reason. And so, she came out, and they start talking you know, over on the other side of the parking lot, and she was like, you know, give me my keys, I got, the police are coming right now, and blah, 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 and I was like, you know, and then that's when I, when she came over to the car, and that's when I told her, you know what, you guys need to think about your baby, that's most important, no matter what's going on with you guys, you gotta think about that baby, that baby is innocent in all this, and y'all, you know, anyway, so, she went... Where did she go? I think she went back inside. This lady's looking at me. <laughs> She's like, who is she talking to? Anyway, I should just put a fake earpiece on so they'll think I'm talking into a phone. Um, So she went back inside and he was sitting close enough for me to say something. And he, he heard me talking to her when I said, you guys need to uh, think about your baby. So she went off somewhere. I don't know where. And then I told him. I even told him. You know, he came over to the van and I was like, you know what? Y'all need to stop that foolishness. I said, that's your baby, isn't it? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? You need to think about that baby. No matter what happened. And he was like, oh, well, she stole $1,000 from my checking account. I'm like, but that's just what he says. But still, and I told him, I said, um, I said, what's more important, $1,000 or your baby? I said, the health of your baby. I said, I don't care how much money that, you know, she might have stolen. Y'all need to get together and talk this out without, you know, being physical. I said, if both of you are mad, you need to just walk away from each other. Um, this video, I'm so sorry this video is so long. Um, I'm like, you need to walk away from each other. You know, the money, you can always replace the money. I said, but if something happens to your baby, you're not going to be able to, you know, you you're not going to forgive yourself and you're not going to um, um, not be able to replace your baby. So he was like, yeah, yeah, I know. So the police came and they did whatever they had to do. And the police took him away. He wasn't backing down. He, I guess he made a report too. You know, I guess she made a report, pre press charges on him because he put his hands on her. And then she, she made the report and then he made a report too saying that she stole the money. But, you know, they took him in. Um... And I'm sure they'll be talking tonight, but why not talk ahead of time? Why let it get to that point? And you know why I can say this? Because I'll be 43 years old this month, and I've been through it all. So I guess when you, the older you get, the wiser you get, 
I've done a bunch of stupid stuff when I was younger. And I know it's probably some young people watching right now that are going through some stuff. There's some older people that are going through some stuff. But, <clears throat> like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, Shay, Soldier Girl said, we just need to chill. Even if it's not couponing, we just need to chill and, you know, just, just calm it down. Calm it down. Get your senses and think before you act because it'll save you. Man, there's a bunch of times. When, okay, I'm going off on the tangent. Anyway, my whole point was, let me let this window back down. My whole point is domestic violence. A situation like that, do you get involved? What would you have done? Would you have done something? Would you have helped the girl um, if she wasn't pregnant? Would you have helped her? Would you have just ignored her? The reason I stepped in this time is because of the baby. I mean, because of the girl too, but mainly because of that baby. I was like, you know, I, I have to see what's going to happen. I can't, I won't be able to sleep if I hear on the news that something had happened, you know, um, to the baby. Who knows what would have happened if nobody, you know, talked to her and helped her and she went right back to you know anyway so I wish I could see what the conclusion is of this but basically he went off with the police and they helped her with her car because he took the key to her car too so he not only threw it in the sewer he took the car key so I guess they got that back and then she did drive away yeah, she did drive away. They were here for at least a half an hour, 45 minutes. Okay, and that's how long my video is getting to be. So, let me know what you would have done. Tough situation. If you can't write it all in the post, post a video about it if you want and um, connect it to this one. So, let me know what you would have done in that situation. Would you have gotten involved? Thanks for watching and remember, we are all in this together.